For months, former U.N. Ambassador Nikki Haley has been hinting at her wish to run for president. We don't need more politicians who love to go on TV and talk about our problems. We need real leaders with a record of delivering solutions. At the Republican Jewish Coalition meeting last November, she said she did the hard work to resolve problems as governor of South Carolina and as ambassador. And between us, I'm just getting started. She started her campaign with an official announcement Tuesday. I'm Nikki Haley, and I'm running for president. Haley is the first Republican to take on former President Trump for the GOP nomination. At 39, Haley was the youngest governor in the U.S. when she took office in January 2011, and she was South Carolina's first female governor. As governor, Haley criticized Republican nominee Donald Trump for what she called irresponsible talk, saying he's everything a governor doesn't want in a president. But after six years as governor, she was tapped by President-elect Donald Trump to serve as U.N. ambassador, and she accepted. Now, she references her experience in foreign affairs in her campaign video. China and Russia are on the march. They all think we can be bullied, kicked around. You should know this about me. I don't put up with bullies. And when you kick back, it hurts them more if you're wearing heels. The daughter of immigrant parents from India, she started her political career in a race for state legislature. A former state chairman of the South Carolina Republican Party told the Epoch Times he underestimated Haley as a political force. But now, he says, you have to remember she has never, ever lost a race she has been in. Critics question Haley's ability to be a tough contender in a race expected to be dominated by former President Trump and Florida Governor Ron DeSantis. But her former boss told her to follow her heart. Now that Haley has announced her campaign, will Governor DeSantis follow? Wouldn't you like to know? <laughs> Haley is scheduled to give a formal campaign launch speech on Wednesday in Charleston, South Carolina. Arlene Richards, NTD News.